Hello guys, how are you? I hope everybody is fine and welcome in this new video which will be an answer to a question of, from a friend asking if we can use a hex editor to change a Windows K from a BIOS binary file. Uh, the answer is yes, we can do that either using uh, any uh, hex editor, mm, for example, HXD or Hex Workshop. And uh, to illustrate that, I have chosen two files here one with 8 megabytes, one of 8 megabyte size, and the other one is a 16 megabyte one. These two ones that you see here are in fact the original backups of these other two of these other two ones. Why I have done that backup? Simply because I have changed the keys the Windows keys because they are original keys which I don't want to show in this video as they are uh, uh, from uh, my customers laptops so these two ones are backups with original windows case which i am not going to use in this video and these these two ones are uh, the files in which i have changed those keys to uh, false ones so for my customers uh, i'm saying i uh, will say this don't worry i will never never use your personal data in my videos so don't worry about that so i am going to delete these two ones i don't want to make any mistakes here that's fine now i have the only two file the two files with false windows case so let's open the first one here it is so to search for a windows k in any binary file well windows k in any binary file we use uh, we search for this hex value i have already used it so it will be here but let's tape it directly to show you a simple way of memorizing it so we tape 0 1 and now we add 15 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 we tape another one and we we add 14 so first the first time we have added 15 zeros now 14 14 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 we tip followed by one capital d and now we end with six zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 that's it okay here we have our false key windows key so in your case if it's an original one it will be it will be an original one in fact uh, to change it we select it like this and uh, if you have uh, your key for example uh, you have your key uh, you go to here let me show you where you tape you need you need dash conversion conver that's one you need conversion dot info so let's do this only this one 
and use it there that's it hit enter so we go directly if we tape this one unit dash conversion dot info we go directly to this page and you came here and there you have convert hexadecimal to text so what we need is to type the key text here and convert that text to hex numbers so let's for example uh, imagine that we have a key like this one uh, or simple one 888855 digits then dash another 5 digits dash another 5 dash another 5 digit so it's five numbers one two three four five and each number with the uh, with five digits digits sorry for uh, mistakes of pronunciation of pronunciation my english is so bad so i'm sorry so we have here five digits another five another five another five another five and one two three four five numbers each one with five digits we copy this here we have this one converted to hex numbers so let's copy these hex numbers and go to here so here we have our key our windows key so when we select it uh, we can uh, see where it begins here the the hex number of this one begins here and ends here it begins here so we simply uh, copy this and we go here we click here and with the right click we past right which means that we are going to change the key the windows key that's it let's save okay close this one go to the other one another example and so let's search for our our hex value which we say it begins with zero one the one the first one should be followed by 15 zeros then we tape one another one followed by 14 zeros then another one followed by d the letter d which is followed by six zeros so 15 14 15 zeros 14 zeros of letter d and six zeros at the end without forgetting of course the ones we have three ones one uh, one here the other here and the other here three ones okay it's a simple way to uh, memorize the way of uh, how uh, we search for Windows K in uh, BIOS binary file for uh, most of uh, BIOS files uh, having Windows keys we always use this hex value to search for it in uh, BIOS files let's hit OK here we have the key it's a false one of course so we can change this to another one let's uh, just 
Uh, as an example, now here we have uh, it should be capital letters. Mm. So then, then let's make five ifs. Then uh, triple D and twenty one. Let's uh, thirty. Why not? And uh, this one. Let's uh, do this. Why not? So we have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's imagine that uh, this is our uh, window, original Windows key. We tape it here in this, in this key, case, and we uh, change it or we convert it to hex numbers. Here we have it. I hope uh, it's it was changed. Uh, yeah, it's the right one. So we copy it. We go to our file, we click here, and with the right click, we past right. Don't do past insert, or you'll end up with two windows keys. Past right. We save. That's it. It's done. And if we go to our folder, we have the backups of the originals, if they were originals. In my case, they are just examples with the uh, false case. So in your case, you will have uh, automatically uh, the HX the editor will automatically save a backup or a backup of the original file in case uh, you need it uh, if uh, any mistake. So as I always do uh, in uh, in BIOS issues when dealing with BIOS issues here, I. Uh, use the LBL to show the same thing uh, but this tool do it automatically so here we have in this tool in this LBL plus 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 we have uh, a special utility for that uh, purpose we have the windows as you see here the windows key changer so we can open our files to see uh, if it can uh, find so in those keys it's the folder so let's open this one the megabytes as you can see here we have our key and we can change it here of course we can change it uh, in this utility we open it there we open the same file so and we choose uh, the other key here or we insert the we write our key here so and the last number so each number has five digits yes inject here it is this one so it was done automatically and uh, the program has opened the folder automatically here we have it if we make a search for the key so let's use our hex value here we have it and uh, the one which we have because the uh, program has uh, saved it uh, in with a new name in a new folder in a new uh, file so we have uh, the original file is uh, is not uh, hasn't been changed it's still 
here in our folder so if you we open it and we do the same thing we look for it so here we have uh, the key be, uh, which we have before so I hope uh, it's clear the answer is clear and uh, see you in another video sorry uh, so many uh, friends uh, asked me to do more videos uh, i really hope i got more time to do that in fact i am always busy and uh, i can do that during the day now it's late here and i'm trying just to do this one to answer uh, my friend's question in fact uh, it, it he asked me that question uh, three days ago and uh, from here I'm uh, say uh, sorry for the late answer but as he knows me personally he will understand so mm, I hope nothing is left I hope I have uh, explained the um, basics here and that everything is clear and uh, see you in another video I hope it will be sooner bye bye and take care everybody take care of yourself from this uh, coronavirus bye bye